Hi there, and welcome to the Paula Fiscal Show. My show airs on Sundays at 3 o'clock p.m. on Channel 29. We also upload all the shows to YouTube so that you can view them at any time. My Twitter handle is Paula Fiscal TV, so please do tweet your answers or your questions that you may have for my show. Today, we have a very special guest by the name of Chef Sharon Lee, who has been on my show a few times, and she brings wonderful, sensational foods for us to taste, and we also talk about some of the community events and community uh, activities that she is involved in, and so we want to welcome Chef Sharon Lee. She's always a lot of fun whenever she's on my show. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm just fine. So welcome to the show. Tell me what your latest endeavor is. Well, we are preparing for the Shaka Zulu Mardi Gras Ball that originated and started from when I was in culinary school in New Orleans in uh, 2004. And we are preparing to open up an academy for the children. We're fundraising to build a kitchen for the children to start uh, in the summer of 2016 is our date that we would like to open. That's wonderful. And is this kitchen already selected? Do you have this uh, kitchen already set up, or are you still looking for a kitchen? We're still looking for a kitchen. So there you have it. If you have a kitchen out there that's not being used, you give us a call at 415-724-7888. That's my phone number. And you can call the chef directly at 415-517-2851. Let's go back and talk a little bit more about the event. This is going to be held during the same time as the Super Bowl events, right? Yes, we are. We created an event that give uh, such a, such a, the 50th Super Bowl such a festive um, occasion for San Francisco. We'll be hosting the Shaka Zulu Mardi Gras Ball on that Saturday evening, the day before uh, the Super Bowl. And you're going to have uh, wonderful food there, I hear? Yes, we have, um, we have a, a Cajun buffet that we will be having. Uh, today we have some of the entrees and specialties uh, that was created today for this uh, show. And we also have a special taster, I hear. Is there a taster in the room? Here she comes. Applause for our taster. Your name, please? <laughs> Margaret Parker. Margaret, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, I'm sure you're going to be at the event, and so you're going to have uh, an opportunity to taste some of the food in front, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'll go ahead and let the chef take over. Okay, so uh, one of the specialties that was created for today is the red beans, and we have uh, a turkey neck. In, in there. Okay. Okay. And we have some uh, steamed white rice. We have some barbecue chicken. There's the we white rice. We also have uh, potato salad, some Our dinner chicken, rolls, potato salad, and uh, rolls. some white chocolate macadamia nut cookies. There you have it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start out the taste test? Yes, we will. Okay. So I'll just keep right on talking while you're serving. Okay. Uh, once again, it is called the Shaka Zulu Ball, and it's going to be held February 6, 2016. And it is in San Francisco at 1111 Golf Street from 4 in the afternoon until 1130 p.m. And how do you prepare the chicken? The Mr. chicken Shepley? was baked. Uh, I marinated the chicken a uh, day and a half, and then I uh, baked it. And a I'm day and a half. You're marinating chicken a day and a half. And what do you marinate it in, if you don't um, mind giving us a couple of the secrets? I uh, do a little olive oil, um, a little fresh herbs, a little garlic, um, and a, a little dash of uh, a little vinegar. I was going to ask, a lot of people do 
prepare sort of like a brine yes for the uh, marinade yes and yes. so if you put vinegar in um, a, a, a meat like that then it makes it uh, a little bit more tender is that it a little bit more tender yes uh, what happens is when you add a little vinegar vinegar it breaks down the connective tissues and the meat that makes it a little bit uh, easier to eat softer and then the does it make it also healthier Yes, I mean, yes, it is healthy. Baked chicken is extremely healthy, and if you don't uh, like skin, you know, if you're trying to save on calories, then you could take and have it, uh, take the skin off and bake uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. All right. So let's move on to the potato salad. Okay, so the potato salad is kind of like a little jazzed up. It's a little spicy. Uh, it's got a little pepper in, t in it. Um, it's one of the dishes that I like to make. Mm. Um, with a bunch of uh, little fresh herbs um, in it. And um, it's a, a pleasurable dish that I enjoy preparing. And a lot of people have their own special re recipes for potato salad. Yes. So let's hear Margaret's uh, comments on the potato salad. Well, I taste it, and it does have a little kick to it. It's a very good flavor and um, very good on your palate when it goes down. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, what gives it that little kick, Chef Lee? Uh, we got a little pepper, a little uh, cayenne pepper. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. There's a, a, a tip then, a little yes, cayenne a little pepper cayenne. to give it a kick. Mm -hmm. All right, Lynn, let's uh, talk about the beans. My favorite, being a Mexican-American, we love our beans. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell us about how you prepare okay, them? Okay, so these beans, um, I recently was doing a tour down in New Orleans and Baton Rouge, and uh, the Camilla beans uh, was a gift to me that I bought home. And Camilla? So Camilla beans. That's, that's the, the name? red beans. That's the name of the company that makes the red beans for the South. Oh, okay. And Camilla so, beans. And uh, so <clears throat> I bought some back. So these are the official beans from New Orleans, and I... Uh, had a great time making them. They're seasoned with uh, some fresh herbs and some of my spices that I put together. And uh, and did I, you and did you soak the beans overnight? Did you say? Oh yes, I always soak the beans. I always soak the beans, you know, overnight. And isn't and, there a way that you can shorten that? Something about boiling the beans, turning them off, letting them sit around for an hour? Um, or do well, you not recommend that? I I don't. Perf Preferably, I don't do that, you know. Right. Um, I just put them in and let them swell up, and, you know, it doesn't take that long to cook. Oh, you know? excellent. Oh, so it does shorten the cooking time. It does time. shorten your cooking time. It does shorten time the cooking just time. Just from that. And tell us a little bit about the rice. The rice is a, a, a rice that is a poor boiled rice, actually, that I like. And um, it's uh, turns out the same every time you cook it. <laughs> I enjoy cooking. Guaranteed, it. guaranteed rice. Guaranteed, guaranteed rice. rice. Never Every stinky, time. never gummy. Just always to perfection. I see. I see. <laughs> yes. And uh, is this then going to be the menu for the event? These are some of the items that will be on red beans and rice. Of course, uh, we have uh, some other salads. Uh, Cajun, uh, Cajun coleslaw, which is a signature. The black eyed pea salad, which is a signature. Um, and you're talking Jump. about it being signature for the Mardi Gras. Signature for the Mardi Gras, signature for uh, something that I specialize in making. Oh, so we're yes. talking about the branding of Chef Sharon Lee and her wonderful <laughs> foods that yes. she makes. I understand, I yes. understand. So tell us a little bit more about the um, Verlaine Academy. Okay, the Berlin uh, Iris Academy came about um, over, I would say, since about 2007. Okay, okay. it started in 2007. Yes, and um, it's named after my mother. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mother passed this year, and uh, I told her before we parted, that I would continue on with opening the academy for the children. And the children that you're targeting to be in your classes are whom? The, the, uh, the, are in inner city kids, foster kids, 
you know, kids in the unified school district, the parks, uh, you know. Um, and didn't you used to teach in uh, John O'Connell school? Yeah, John O'Connell was where I started with the children, uh, high school. Yeah, I started there. And a uh, very rewarding experience and career. Uh, some, uh, some students that are professionally chefs now from my tutelage of teaching. Um, I've highlighted uh, several different programs in San Francisco. I uh, started a, a pilot program for Upper Bound. Um, I also started their first pilot program for Park and Rec uh, culinary program. I started in Noe Valley and I went to the Richmond District. And uh, it's just a rewarding experience. I started from teaching at John O'Connell High School. So for those young people that are out there listening and viewing the show, if you're interested in registering to join the class that's starting up, when? Uh, we're, our, key, our start date is in June of 2016. And so the classes will start in June 2016, and how many children or young people will be able to register? Well, each class is uh, 12 students per class, and that's elementary, middle school, and high school students that we are targeting. And do the students, when they register, need to get special permission from their parents, or well, do they need to bring anything with them? How is that going to work well, out? Well, actually, they have to register online. Okay, so all registration is online for this Culinary Academy, and the registration to register online is a different website? Yes, there, uh, there will be uh, a website for the students to register on, which will be under the Verlene Iris Culinary Academy. Wonderful. So as that comes uh, into being, you're, you've already set up the website, have you? Yes, matter of fact, we just haven't released it. Uh, but for 2016, students will be able to register for the Berlin Iris Culinary Academy. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay, let's get back now again to the Shaka Zulu Ball. Yes. And we want to talk about a little bit more about the food that you're going to serve so that people are going to be coming in their costumes, right? right? Mm -hmm. And you're also going to give an award for the best costume? Uh, yes, we will give an, 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 a best award for the best costume. Uh, so participating for the best costume. In the, mm -hmm. and, uh, but you mentioned here particularly the mask. Oh, yeah, well, the mask is really part of... The mask the, is the big deal. The mask is the big deal. <laughs> okay, so then you have uh, pictures of masks that... Uh, have one in the past, or is this your first event? This one is our first event. It's the first for, annual Shaka Zulu Ball. No, the, the, Shaka, um, Mardi, the Shaka Zulu Mardi Gras Ball started in 2012, the first event. So it's, so you hosted that event in 2012? Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so uh, it's an annual event, yearly. Wonderful. But this year we changed... Um, the theme as far as people having masks on, that we would pick the best mask for this year. I understand now. So yes. this is actually an annual event. Yes. And you probably have sponsors too then for this event, is that correct? Do you have any sponsors you'd like to mention? No. Well, let's get back to the event and remind everyone that it is going to be February 6, 2016. And all you need to do is go to the website, www.partyearth.com, and you can log on and RSVP online. Yes. Is there anything else that we'd like to hear from our taster, Miss Margaret Parker? Just that everything was great, and um, we'd like to see you at the Shaka Zulu Ball. All right. Wonderful. So, Chef Lee. You've had these events previously. Yes. And in the past, so in 2012, 2013, 2014, each one of those years has that always gone towards the Culinary Academy, or were there other events that you sponsored or other endeavors, other activities? Yes, I have been the sponsor of these events myself. Um, the other uh, event that we have as an annual is our Craft Feed. Our crab fest. I heard about that crab fest. 
Let's talk about a little bit about that crab fest. What's going on with that crab fest? Nobody could log on and, and RSVP anymore. I heard it was totally sold out. Yes, well, the um, actually as of uh, this week coming, people will be able to log on to the crab fest and um, be able well, to I'm buy so tickets. Well, I'm so glad to hear that. To buy tickets. Because I really felt out of the loop not being able to go to your crab feed. Oh, no. Well, yes. no, you'll be able to participate. Yes, in case you need any tasters. Okay. <laughs> like, me and Margaret will be ready. <laughs> so that event will be April 2nd, 2016. Oh, that and one it, has a little more time for prep then. Right, yes, it does. April in 2016. Yes. So you can come back next month and talk about that event. Okay. So for those of you that are just tuning in, this is the Paula Fiscal Show. Stay informed is my motto. The show airs on Sundays at 3 o'clock p.m. and then it's also rerun on Channel 76 and all the shows are on YouTube. My Twitter handle is Paula Fiscal TV and my email is paulafiscalshow at gmail.com. Today, our special guest is Chef Sharon Lee, who is sponsoring and hosting a big Shaka Zulu Ball, and this is her third annual Shaka Zulu Ball, to be held during the big Super Bowl events here in San Francisco. So for those of you that are interested in attending, once again, the number is 415-517-2851. Yes. I also would like to say to uh, Paula that um, we are looking for sponsors. Oh, okay. So there you have it. She's looking for sponsors, all you viewers out there. And in order to do that, then you just, uh, they should give you a call? Yes, they should give me a call. Yes. So what kind of sponsors are you looking for? Uh, people like Google. Um, okay, she's looking... She's looking for Google. Google, are you in there? Can you hear this? <laughs> breaker, breaker, we're calling Google. Anyone uh, else? Local community. Uh, local community. Uh, uh, local community. Uh, churches. Uh, churches. You know, uh, so if, if um, Pepsi came up and wanted to be a sponsor, that would right. be a good sponsor. That would be a good and, sponsor. And how about either the Hertz Rental? Maybe they can... Yes. Put out a car or something for oh, a, yes. a free car. That would be a good sponsor. That would be wonderful. Well, it sounds like it's okay. going to start to get, be a, a, another show here. <laughs> let's let's go back to uh, the um, ball. Talk about the food. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, give the roundup here on the potato salad. We're going to talk about the potato salad, the bread, the chicken, and the cookies, you forgot to mention the cookies. The cookies are uh, white chocolate uh, macadamia nut cookies. That, Could you uh, hold one up so we can see it? Sure. Just one will do. <laughs> <laughs> and then our, our taster can get herself a little bit of the cookie to be able to see how that is, right? And is this, this cookie also your trademark? Yes, it's a cookie that I make, that I enjoy making. I've been Excellent. making for a while. It's a buttery type of a cookie with a little white Excellent. chocolate and some macadamia nuts. And yes. it's kind of oversized, isn't it? Yeah, I like to make big cookies. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. These are the these are the Super Bowl cookies. Then. The Super Bowl That's cookies. That's right. Mm -hmm. Everything's bigger. Everything's big. <laughs> Every, Super Bowl. Everything mm -hmm. is big. Indeed. Terrific. And so uh, when we're talking about this ball and people are going to actually um, get dressed up to go, uh, how do you suggest they dress? Colorful, festive. The Mighty Gras um, is colorful and festive, and also uh, there will be some face painters there, so some people might want to have their face painted. Um, that was one of my biggest uh, fun things that I do. When I go to the Mighty Gras, I have my face painted, and it's just... Um, now, know, this is just the face now, though, right? Not the, the body. Not the body. Not <laughs> no, the body. No body painting this no. time? No body painting. No body painting. No. Okay. We're going to do... There, there will be a face painter. Yeah, face painter. So. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yes. And so 
Are there any other uh, comments that our official taster, Ms. Margaret Parker, would like to make? Just that everything is perfect, and um, we would love to see you there. Wonderful. Yes. Well, I'm definitely going to be there. I'm, I'm going to be one of the sponsors, I think. <laughs> and we'll be able to go. And, uh, and we'll give out an award of, well, you know, as a general contractor, we may give out an award of uh, an order of tile for the bathroom or something like that. Aww, <laughs> well, maybe see. consultation. How about a <laughs> couple hours consultation on a remodel? Oh, okay. <laughs> how's, how's okay. That? Something, something along those lines. <laughs> okay. And so... For those of you that are just joining us, once again, this is the Paula Fiscal Show, and for today we have Chef Sharon Lee, who is putting together this event for February 6, 2016, during the Super Bowl event. So please, please do log on and watch this show, and if you're trying to reach Chef Sharon Lee, what is your email? My email is Chef SD Lee 56 at gmail.com. And how about your phone number? My phone number is 415-517-2851. So thank you so much for joining us. Once again, this is the Paula Fiscal Show. And if you are interested in attending this event, the number is 415-517-2851 or log on to partyearth.com. Thank you so much for watching us, and I also want to give a shout out to Ann and Andrew and Sydney for putting on the first annual awards event for the SF Commons for all of us producers that uh, work hard to bring you information and public access is just that. So for those of you that are unfamiliar with how this station works, this is Channel 29. And the studio is actually at BayVac, Bay Area Video Coalition. And so remember, stay informed and keep your eyes and ears out for the next big event that Chef Sharon Lee is going to have. Thank you very much.